You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Real World After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Real World After Show. Do you know what that means? Yeah. Do you know what that means? She got her own house. She got her own car. Sure the fuck do. Yo, what up, After Buzz is? What's she gonna do? I don't want to do shit. Okay. That's safe right there. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. I mean, when you're sitting down, that's the moment right there. If you're getting that beat, you get to go. Oh, you get a little cooking. I mean, a little flip, a little flip, a little flip. Yo, what up, After Buzz? Your boy DJ Jesse Jenna here. Shout out to Lil Boozy. Yeah. Shout out Woo! Boozy. Congratulations on getting out. Hey. Good job, Roxy. Good job. <laughs> so we uh, um, we just shout out to Roxy for even knowing this song. I, I was really proud. I, I, was, I was really proud of you. I told Jesse, uh-uh, she don't know. I'm yeah. HIP. You really were? Oh. 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 Let's not. Oh. Oh. Uh, to my left, we have the lovely Nicolette Gowner. Yes, what's up, y'all? See girls since they don't play. Check out how I do it, you know what I'm saying, on my SoundCloud. Drea Renee. Hello, guys. Ay, ay, ay. And our spunky little Roxy Stryer. Hi, guys. We are joined in studio by the one, the only, Corey Wharton. Woo! Yes, sir. Thank hey. you guys for having me. And thank you for it. being here. Yeah, you know. I'm a man of my word, so yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. We've roasted that, you all season. You know, that was a little dig, I little think. Little something. <laughs> you know? Oh, he's coming back. He's ready. You know he's what ready. I'm, so, I'm glad yeah, you're here man. because uh, you, you know, you, were, you uh, had a big yeah. part to do with this episode. Yeah, this episode did. it was a hot mess. Now but we let's wa- get into it. We wanted Brian to come in studio. Unfortunately, yeah. as he well as make you. It. We wanted yeah. the two of you guys in here so you yeah. guys could kind of, you know, talk about as men. You guys, the, you guys have a lot of quality, similar qualities, and you also have. You know, it's a difference. Right, 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 right. Thank God for that, huh? Yeah. So let's talk about it. I mean, last episode, you're in the car, you're shit-faced, you're yeah. hammered, you yeah. know. I mean, Drunk. what was that night like for you before the incident happened? Before the incident, I mean, I feel like I just felt like everything was coming to an end. You know, I, I held a lot of stuff back, I felt like. And um, drinking a little too much, it brings it out. And I just, you know, I... It's crazy to watch it because you realize some things that you could have changed. You know, like uh-huh. certain things that you say, but when you're in the moment, you don't realize it. So watching so, it, what was one of those things that you were like, why did I do that? It's just like the whole, like, I've never been on TV. I've never seen myself act when I'm drunk, you know, because that's yeah. a different side. Like, yeah. it is different to watch yourself when you're not drunk than mm-hmm. when you are drunk. And, um, you know, Can't I was imagine. in the moment and I exploded. It is what it is. And you just, uh, you try to, you know. Now, my I thing is, I kind of want to, like, rewind a little bit, yeah. um, back a little bit more before you guys got into the fight yeah. with you guys being so anti-Brian. Now, were yeah. you guys, you guys obviously were doing this on purpose. No, it wasn't or really anti-Brian. It the was OG just how thing. It, it's just how it happened, to be honest. Like, we tried to make, it's hard for you to welcome somebody with open arms when they're not like that with you. You know, okay. so he really, he held the wall up he at first. Wall. It was really hard to get through. He kind of let us through. And then, like, we would hang out and whatnot, but it just wasn't... It didn't click. You can't make something happen. Like, if you don't get along with somebody, you just can't force force them to get along. True that, but did did you know, like, some of the stuff that we find out, like, uh, as far as, like, his mother situation, and, like, kind of looking at that, like, oh, wait, Jenny, you know, kind of putting those pieces together? Yeah, no, definitely. Like, you can see where he was coming from with that. I mean, Mm -hmm. I'm not one to talk about his past, you know? Like, if he had a mom that did that, then that's going to affect him, you know? Mm -hmm. But, But, um, no, I'm saying, did you know, like, were you aware in, you know, because a lot of the roommates, when Lauren was pregnant, like, no one knew that that... Was going on at the time, like so. Some of y'all no, were talking. Everybody knew. Everyone knew I mean, Brian's situation. Within the first five minutes, everyone knew Lauren was pregnant. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, and then, who told like, us it differently? Just, um, Jenny said she didn't know. I think it was. Oh, Haley. maybe Jenny. No, Jenny, Jenny said no. It was know. Jenny. She said she didn't yeah. know. Yeah. Okay. But so with the Brian situation, yeah. uh, did you did you know that? 
Did you know anything yeah, about we did. his past? We actually did. I think I did hear him talk about it. I mean, Brian wasn't scared to talk to Jenny wherever in the house. You right. know, if that's uh, the kitchen anywhere. or anywhere. So, <laughs> like, you would overhear things. And the mm -hmm. house is so small, you can hear everything. So, like, they can be in the other room, and you can almost hear their conversation. So, basically, right. so, just everything coming up to that moment. It was them fighting. It was him even being there. It, it had was so much. I mean, like I said, you guys only see, like, 4%. You're living with these people 24-7 right. right. in this house. It is... Completely and editing different. and they change it. And yeah, it's yeah. funny because I sit back and I watch you guys and say your comments, and it's funny because I almost <laughs> say some of the same things when I watch the show, but right. living it, I have a different perspective. You know, it's a whole right. different ballgame. I think it's difficult though because at least with the other women who joined the house later, they yeah. all had a bunch of girls to kind of be in the same situation as them. But for Brian, he gets thrown yeah. into the situation and he's the only guy who I comes didn't even in. Think about and so, that. Yeah. so when he comes in, he's the only guy and he's like, all right, and he. he he feels like he's trying to fit in, so he probably was trying not really being himself, which is right. annoying. You guys are probably like, "Who is this kid?" But I did feel like he really wanted to be accepted so he did. badly, he did. and he and did. so when you're sitting here saying like he had this wall up, I guess I didn't really see it because for me he was literally on his knees sucking your guys' dicks, yeah. begging to be part yeah, of the right. Especially right. like at the club, you know, whenever he was trying to like hook up with girls or like even trying to get their number, y'all yeah. would just be like, uh, yo, what are you and doing? Like, I just feel like too. he was trying to have like, you, you know, know a bro romance. moment with y'all. Yeah. It was a disconnect. Like, what can you do? Yeah, you know, It's like, true. You don't like honest. everybody. That's yeah, how it works. Just can't like, force it. You can't force it. And there is something to say with us being in there six weeks before. Let's say Brian comes in same time as us, same situation as us, you know, maybe some things will be different, but at the end of the day, he's still going to be him and we were still us. It just happened to fall exactly. that us three got along. So I have a question then. Does yeah. that mean that this beef between you and Brian comes down to more than Jenny? It, there's, it there's something more than just Jenny. Yeah, it, it really had nothing to do with Jenny at the end of the day because me and Jenny were friends at one point. I mean, to be honest, the beef between us is just... I don't Where did even the know anger come? Beef. It looked right. no. it you had, you you had, see it looked like you were angry. Episodes, I said that. I said I have an anger problem. You know, so like. But where did that, that anger stem from, Brian? From Brian? Like we didn't see that with Jay. Of, no, like no, Corey, that. you were sitting there holding. I know that pose. You yeah, bro. Like, you it's know, like you was, a that's a fucking vulture. You was perched up like. No, I knew. I could see it in my face right when I walked out of the club. Like I wasn't. Yeah, you were messing around. Yeah, like it was. It's a whole different That's side, why you know? I wonder. Because like it had to be deeper off. than Ginny, because that was like, you were really upset. Like no, yeah, and it, it's kind of messed up. I can't really, like, pinpoint what brought it out. I just know I was upset. I said some things in the moment. Right. I wanted him to say some things, and then, you know, it but was... Don't you think if it hadn't been for Jenny and you guys sleeping together? Because I, I feel like that set the situation off. If sure. he had come into the Obviously. house and you had never, <laughs> yeah, he had come into the house, you guys had never slept together, then maybe he would have walked in, you guys would have all just accepted him. But there was already this weird thing going on. I mean, on. we tried to accept him, though. Like, I, it looks really like did? we're trying to bully somebody. This dude's 28. How can you bully somebody yeah, that's, that's 28 true. years old? Come on now, we're he all adults in the house. He probably just wanted to be more to you know, really anyway. sensitive. He's a very sensitive guy. That's who he, he wants is, to talk right. about his feelings. Right, and that you and can't knock him for it, but no, you no, can't no, expect us to be like, He's okay, just because you're a guy, we're going to like, right. oh, you're part of us now. No, right. it's just like, it just was so funny how me, Tom, and Jay got along, you know, so it really right. makes it look like Brian's not part out. of it. Yeah. You know, right. we didn't bully him. Brian would go on his own by himself. Like, we would go on a boat ride. Brian would go sit upstairs outside, and we would all he be just sitting inside. To just so like he created some of that boundary. Like, that's mm. what you guys don't see. Right. They okay. make it seem like we're three big bad guys but and I we're could, over there pushing Brian to the side but I could see Brian kind of doing his own thing because he, he is a, a wolf yeah well yeah. and I could see that because he is kind of like a He's shyer more quiet he thinks a lot and he uses big words even when he was talking about their, <laughs> their bromance he got really deep about how he felt about Corey and you guys yeah. had this whole little montage thing okay so. but here's my thing about that like any type of bromance that's good, they're, they're like that's first of all, it's fucking weird for <laughs> you two to have any type of friendship. Like it's weird. You guys yeah. fuck the same. But group. you have to. I have to. Bro. No, 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 no. Yeah. Hold up. That's not a friend. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but you have to. That's an acquaintance. Now, right. now, see, this is where I get upset with you because right. at the beginning of the season, I feel like we saw this Corey, who I understand that I get these, you know, I, I get angry, but yeah. you try to kind of be the balance out person. Right. So then that. tonight. Well, no, because tonight, I mean, I give you credit for the fact that you were in a situation where you were going to fight this kid. Mm -hmm. And you calmed yourself, and all of you guys were shit-faced, but you held your composure 
I mean, I tried to. But you did. I mean, you did. Okay, you got him on the floor, but you didn't snap. And so from that, you know, obviously this has tested your boundaries as far as emotionally. So where are you today with that? Like, Uh, what have you taken from that? I can't say if I was in that same situation, I would try to act different. I mean, I would try to act different, but I mean... It's just like a daily thing, you know. It's just I can't say I'm perfect, you know. Because mm-hmm. right. it's like total uh, well, opposite I definitely scales. Definitely, that puts you in a whole different like mindset. It's like okay, well maybe I shouldn't drink so much. Maybe I shouldn't. It's just like the situation. That's how I reacted at the time. Was it the best way to react? No, but mm-hmm. that's how it was, but man. You you know like uh, yeah. Even I can't that episode. Take it back. Yeah, you can't take it back. But even that episode right. versus tonight's episode. I mean, if we had had you on last week, I would have just looked at you and been like what the fuck yeah. but having you on tonight it was like a, watching a different person and i wanted to look at brian and be like what the fuck i mean right. so yeah, I, yeah, well i mean i was i was God. acting a fool in the beginning a little bit you know so i don't know i think brian kind of wanted to go out with the bank so uh, he did he uh yeah. he, he went, definitely he said did. he wanted to go home big so is there current beef going on with you guys now no there's no beef i mean i, I really mess with everybody i really talk to everybody but um Brian and me, we kind of, when we see each other for like the reunion and stuff, we're like, okay, hey, what's up? You keep know what's going civil. on? But mm-hmm. then that's, we keep, keep it pushing. moving. Keep it, keep we keep it moving. Because you know? <laughs> he's just not his type of cup of tea and yeah, he's not your cup just, of tea. And people keep, MTV keeps trying to like figure out what's deeper. What's deeper? Like, why don't you guys get along? Like, you don't get along with everybody you meet. No, Bottom line, no I don't. Know. And they <laughs> keep pushing it like there's something deeper, Corey, throughout right. the whole season. They're like, well, why are you mad at Brian? I just don't like the dude. Like, and that's just it, wasn't, period. Yeah, like... I think it's really weird and interesting, uh, and I think this is one of the biggest differences between the two of you, that Brian keeps talking about this game and that he wants to win the game and win the oh, prize. Yeah, he said that tonight. He's like, I want to win the prize, I'm winning the game, whatever it is. And Jenny's yeah. like, this isn't a game. And I, She's I, got some nerve talking, man, yeah. bottom line. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. me and Jenny, we beef because... There was a time in the house where Jenny was like, Corey, you got to start acting crazy. You know this is for TV. You know what She you said that do. to you? Oh, yeah. That's why the main beef between Ooh, me and her started is because we. she was doing things for the camera. She told me she was doing them for the camera. Uh-huh. And Ooh, I was trying to keep it real. You know, Jenny, so. Girl. Yeah, okay, so well, here's, I'm not surprised. I believe that 100. I mean, come okay, on. Okay, guys. Like, yeah. I'm not surprised. Oh, I, I, mean, I mean, it's just look at the way that they are. Her and her and Brian. Like, I could just see her going into I it because Brian seems very manipulative. And the fact that, like, they're together now, it's kind of like... Good point. Like, Good they point. shouldn't be together after all of that if that was, like, real, real. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it just, I mean, like, even after the after show, or when we came back to L.A., me and Jenny were kicking it. But then, um, you know, her and Brian started to get back together, and she was always talking about, I will never be with Brian again, blah, 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 blah. And this and is after the like, show. it was just like, you know what, I can't take your word. And if I can't, like, yeah. take your word, then it's hard for me to be your friend, you know? And to really take you serious. It's right. Like, yeah, so, I feel it. I want to... Talk about something, though, really quick. She mentioned it in tonight's episode, and you briefly mentioned it when we were talking to you. So Jenny has this thing where she believes in demons and, yeah, and, that, yeah, and people possessing. That. What? So huge. can you talk about that for a second? Um, so <laughs> basically, you let me, yeah, let me, were you scared? There was multiple times where, like, I remember we went to Koreatown once, and um, Jenny made a whole, like, I believe there's demons 20 there, different honey. videos of her documenting, like, ghost stories around Koreatown, like, saying, okay, if you're an orb, you know, come out, like that type of deal. She's just big into that. And so she thought Brian was possessed by the devil the last night. And, Wouldn't um, that be an easy Brian excuse? Brian was, like, crawling on the floor. We got two security guards on him, and she's he over there, like, possessed. I mean, saying the Lord's me. Prayer. And Jenny I was, was saying, saying the prayer. Yeah, now. Jenny was saying the prayer, and I was just like, <laughs> you know what? Uh, I, I mean, were you like, what the fuck? I wasn't surprised. No, I, I mean, mean like we, we had a psychic long. come to the house too and like spread what? ashes all over the house. And, and Jenny sage. and Brian were so into it. Like they were right by her side, like asking them tons <laughs> of questions. Meanwhile, we're just kind of like, dude, come on now. Come on now. Like you can't. I mean, we don't see that. Clearly, that voodoo didn't work. Why wouldn't they show that? Why wouldn't they show that? <laughs> well, it'll probably be tonight on the shit they didn't oh, show. Right. Oh, yeah. Who had the psychic come? You guys did or the producers? No, MTV. Okay. They don't show. We had therapy sessions. They had to start bringing us to therapy. What? The last two weeks. All together? No, couples. Family therapy? I went by myself because I didn't have anybody, but people would go couples to what therapy sessions. The therapist came to the house. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. You yeah. say you can't blame I'm, it I'm, all on him in reference to Brian. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you kind of... Uh, it takes two to tango. Right. You know, the simple saying is it's as true as it is. You know? But it kind of looked like Jenny at times would use you as a buffer 
Did you feel used at all at times? We would use each other as a buffer. Like, if she was mad at Brian, she would throw my name at him. If I was mad at Brian, I would throw Jenny's name. Just you know, to just get playing that childish him. game, you know. It's just so, like, last week house. when we saw you do the, uh, she was like, ah, you can never find someone who's smart and sexy. Yeah, and in the kitchen, and I'm just smiling and saying, oh, me. That's or something like that. <laughs> right. Along those lines, just acting a fool, you know, that that's just me. You know? I mean, I think at the end of the day, if you're in a house and there's someone that you're in love with and you see somebody every day that they boned, like I know for me, like I yeah, couldn't do that. But like, that's just gonna always be Yeah, if you saw mm. somebody that Lauren banged every day. Oh no. And walking around and talking, you just staring at them <laughs> like you were with I, I couldn't do it. No. Oh, no, well, that, okay. And I told Brian that. I said I do give you props for I, exactly. how you handle the situation. Ooh. Like, I definitely said that. So let's talk about it because yeah. we haven't had you in here since. I know, man. She time. had a baby. Or she, yeah. she, she she got knocked up. We don't know if she had the baby or not. Yeah, well, she, uh, we do know she, she didn't, didn't have the baby. Well, she didn't have yeah, the baby. Yeah. Um, but she's <laughs> she happy, man. Her family, you know, they got her and she's doing good in Michigan. So that's good, man. But you what happened to you? When that day what that, went through your mind oh what? you're taking me back to that day because we haven't talked to you about it like I, hello right, we're right. sitting I'm here eating studio. popcorn and right. shit like <gasps> <Gorin>. Lawrence, <bro. laughs> like i mean it was it, it was that you know like yeah. i was just speechless i had to deal with this on national television i, I didn't imagine. know like the girl that i loved my whole life was like look i'm pregnant and i'm thinking and it's, it's not, not mine yours. And so I'm just, you know, how do I go about this situation? I tried, you know, to stay calm, stay, you know, deal right. with it the best you can. But in the back of your mind, you're going crazy, you sure. know, like you're going crazy. And, you and then everyone in the house is, pss, 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 you know, mm -hmm. you're just like looking around like, man, cameras are following you. So, you know, they're on you. Mm -hmm. It was um, it was an experience, you know. Mm -hmm. How'd you get to the point of, you know what, this 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 isn't about me. This is right. about making sure she's all right. How'd you do that? Um, It took time. To be honest, it just takes time to process. But how like, much time? It seemed like it was like an hour. No, literally, it probably took the next day. It took probably yeah. a day because I went out, you know, I got my little flirt on, and they tried to make it seem like I was you dancing bad. with the girl yes. when Lauren was in the club. I wouldn't do that to her. No, I was talking to her then. But they chopped it up to look like that. But um, I was mad, though, because she she really threw me through a loop, and I probably put a little too much pressure on her, but at the same time, like, it was a lot to go I through. I cannot like, imagine. I, Ugh, honey. All my emotions came out on this show, to be honest. You know, like, I think it just shows, like, I don't even, yeah. But you have to be a strong person to be able to do this type of show and, you know, to be able to stand up against and really, everything. like, be oh, vulnerable. Course, especially and coming to yeah. here. Oh, yeah, right. I left it all out there, you know. <laughs> it came out, though, that you were in a similar situation back when. And, yeah. and do you feel like that yeah. helped you? Uh, come full circle with this and realize like listen she supported me I've got to man up and support her I mean definitely I think you'll be stupid not to learn from previous you know, right mistakes. things that have happened mm -hmm. in your life you of know course. take advantage of that so when I had that scare you know I took some things away from it and I think it helped me in the situation a little bit but um like I said it's just in that situation it was just crazy like right like, you just <laughs> it was just there's We're a lot shock. going on like there yeah. really is and where do y'all stand now we're cool yeah, we're cool. We're good friends. I keep in touch. You know, she's she's cutting hair, and uh, I'm doing the training thing. And Could so. sparks ever arise? Is or is Corey that single? Just, you know, or not? I'm we have single, our actually. place. We have, yeah. you know, we had our. Time. Oh, oh, ladies, hear yeah. that? Corey, single. Single. Yep. Shoot him that DM. I gotta focus on me first. Shoot I got a lot of shit DM. to work on after watching this. You I know? bet so, you. Yeah. You should stay single. So for a I'm, a, bit I'm gonna focus on me and then try to deal with that later. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fair That's enough. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about some other couples in the house. I could not with that motherfucking the country damn song that the came on. You are just uh, mad. You're, you're just mad. Push something. You're just like mad. Song, Why am I, I mad? Because you want to be booed up. I'm no, quite honestly, all right with I not being good up. With Miss Delusional saying, over there. Other than I Ashley, don't, don't try me. Okay. I, I, I'm not going to lie. Times. I'd like to be booed up myself. Other than Ashley and Ariel, but not I don't think there's a couple no. on the show who has a chance of making it. So when they do this entire ooh, montage, ooh. I'm just saying. Yeah. So I, when they do this montage, mm -hmm. and, it's, oh, and you're supposed to like... 
be, be all in love and romance. And you're like looking at Tom and Jamie. I'm like, there's no fucking way these people but are going to last. But they're still together. Have you seen their Instagram? Yeah. I don't know. They're, they're, they're in love. love. I really love like, that. No way. Yes, I'm sorry. Girl. No way. Rock, yes, girl. And you're like yes, a Tom girl. fan. Yes, girl. I, I am a yes, Tom girl. fan. but mm -mm. They're still together. They're, they they no, surprised they me. Was, they, they surprised they me. When I left the house, I said, there is no way. They're going hard. You know what? What the hell do I know? I could be dead in the wrong. Cute selfies. They're doing it all. Making collages. I'm in love. They, you know, the they, they still yeah, got the butterflies. Hey. Are they living together? I don't think so, no. Oh. No, I think Jamie's distance. still in Houston and Tom's in Dallas. But that's so. lucky. They're yeah, not yeah, healthy. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, that's actually good. helping them out. Yeah, yeah. No. And that's interesting because Tom said he doesn't know how he would handle a long-distance relationship. And they kind of, Jamie exactly. kind but of... But then again, Jamie like she's is just the, the type person. to force herself. Like, I'm sure she was there every weekend. Like, yeah, she's Jamie like, Tom, I'm coming. We gonna work this out. <laughs> she ain't playing. Yeah, she's she's like, I'll drive four hours. I don't care. She's there every other day, I'm sure. Whatever. Yeah, Jamie will drive. That's nothing to her, you know. Yeah, she's in love with Tom, man. Oh yeah! Hell you fucking know. yeah, she is. And, uh, yeah. They're cute. I gotta give Jamie this because you know she's kind of annoyed me all season. But I'm glad that she has learned that she cannot be buttoned into exactly. other people's. That was cool yeah. that she said that. She yeah, I like that because I need the cheap police to be fucking done. I'm yeah. so over the I'm cheap so police. I'm so over the cheap police. Like, <laughs> and then Jay tried to make her feel better about it, which was kind of nice, I guess. At the end, you know, yeah. Whatever. Watch the reunion. We're gonna have to because uh -oh. let me just let's talk about Jay and Jay, Jenna and Jay. You mm -hmm. went through this situation, you were mm -hmm. there firsthand. Mm -hmm. Now, you seem to be like the type of person, you know, when a female is being picked on, you want to, you know, stand up for that person. Yeah, I'll help somebody out. <laughs> what was going on through your mind with uh, Jenna and Jay? Um, about the whole situation, like yes. what was. We only talk about the situations. Uh, like, especially that one situation when y'all are at the bar and he was going so hard at oh that Oh my bottle. god, that was yeah. so embarrassing. I mean, <laughs> it was like a yeah. Sprite commercial. We felt bad. Yeah. We were like, we I mean, we called it out when it was happening. Yeah, so we did. knew they would show it. Like, yeah. me and Tom both were like, bro, don't do it. Like, it's not even worth it. You shouldn't be doing it. Like, just come on. But, you know, Jay even said it himself. I don't know. It's part of his ego. He said, that's... Who I am. He just, yeah. uh, he reminds me of like a little hustler. You know what I'm saying? Has, like, he just always Italian, on the street, man. like. Jay Gotti. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, what's the next piece of meat I'm gonna exactly. have? You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, like, I'm trying to get your right. number. Like, but, I might not call you later, but I'm gonna get your number right now, right. okay? Like, look But in the end, he's a vegetarian and talking about wanting some meat. Okay. Yeah. I think he has LMS. <laughs> I think he has LMS. What is what that? Little Man is? Syndrome. Oh. oh my God! You didn't know something, and I didn't know it either. But you didn't know it. And I'm <laughs> and I'm sure. No, so. he, he I don't know. I don't think he has that. He just has that like <sighs> Boston, like he's not from New York. He's oh, from the New Bronx. York, he's gonna be mad. Yeah. yeah, he, he no, claims that. I, I, you, know sure. why, I you know why? I thought Boston because you're Because we dropped the Yeah, he reminds me of you. You know what? I honestly, I just can't believe how I felt about Jay the first episode versus how I feel about him now. You were so in love with Jay. I was, I was obsessed with it. I was like this. Guy rocks like <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe she tore up his numbers. Yeah, up, I, bitch. I know. I just I can't believe he went, he ended up being on the show. At least, do you feel like the show gave him a shit edit, or do you feel like this is who Jay is? <laughs> yeah. um, I feel like seventy five percent edit, the rest Jay. Like he set himself yeah. up in I some mean, of that he situation. Ain't playing. He knows he, that. He like told, he learned a lot right. from the situation too. Well, you know. know. Yeah. Like that's one thing I hope that he he took away from it, but um. He definitely got a bad edit, too. I mean, you could kind of see, like, producers were putting videos on the computer to catch yeah, up, yeah, to yeah. start doing drama. doing that. So, like, oh, that's like somebody that to telling yeah, on I've somebody. I've never seen like, that. Can you explain you know, that? Like, like, what is that? Basically, some t even with me and Ashley once, there was an incident where, like, we didn't really remember what happened last night, so randomly we wake oh, up and Ashley? there's a video on the computer screen. And so the same thing with, Jen or with Jay when he was hooking up with that other girl was Ooh. we just woke up and there was a new video on the computer and so we click it and it's him kissing the other girl so the Damn. producers yeah they, they, was they not wanted playing. season 30 so in all fairness to them this season was amazing yeah. and yeah. also I thought it was so cool how they included the producers in it for like the yeah. first time we I see cool. what's going on behind I the scenes cool. and just with all the the way they shot it and the, I just thought it was really well done so yeah. good to that uh, yeah. they're gonna get their season 30 I'm sure
Yeah. Yeah, but married I'm like, what couples. can they do next? Yeah. What can they do? Married no, couples. I think it's gonna be siblings. No, no, no. How cool would siblings? that? Siblings would be cool. No, parents. Might, it's it's gonna be some. It's gonna be parents. No, they can't afford that. Could they you imagine parents. your parents? With no, that yeah, would but be then the you can't take parents away ever. from their like career jobs. Job. And, well, that's, and just that's just too dumb. much. No, I want to do siblings. I think that'd be siblings cool. Siblings is yeah. close. I've heard a lot of like married couples have been trying out too. So I don't know. Married couples. I don't know. That's too much. That would just change the. I don't want to break marriages up. Yeah. Siblings or married couples How's is going to be one of How do you things. feel that kind of now, I mean, for the real world legacy, if you were to do yeah. a challenge and there was a rivals, it's going to always be you and Brian. It's going to be 100%. exes. It's going to be you and Jenny. Like, yeah. How does that make you feel? You think well, you that's, Jenny that's instead of him a, and Lauren? Yeah, definitely Jenny. Yeah. And so. it'll be good teammates <laughs> yeah. though. Like y'all. I mean, be really to be honest, it. like hell yeah, Brian. He's he's a fitness dude. So hey, be on my team. We can get you this know money. What I'm saying? Right. Let's about, get this money. You know, like me and Brian, we'll keep it real civil. You know, just yeah, going but, in there. It's a it. challenge. You know, I, that's what we're here to do is win the money. So. This challenge though, we know it's gonna be every man for himself. But I'm really nervous about anybody pairing with Brian because like he seems more like a loner so it's a social game too yeah i think he'll kick asses in the actual challenges but and, and i liked him he came in he seemed like a nice dude but i just get worried with who he'd be paired It'll with personality wise people are gonna eat him up yeah right. he's, so him up. he's so yeah. sensitive yeah, well and i careful. think it's that like small town mentality you know like he doesn't really know more than just the small where's he from again um, isn't it like Missouri or somewhere mid Kansas, okay. Kentucky, somewhere. one of them? No shade place. to the Midwest. Corey's like, I don't know. Oh yeah, there's no <laughs> shade, honey. Missouri, I'm they're both from Missouri. Okay. That's all I. Uh, yeah. So y'all, I mean, it, it, it kind of seemed like towards the end, really the only situations that the producers could pull from y'all is yeah. you, Brian. Yeah. Jenny. This all happened like the last three days. Because like, they literally. put you on a boat, and it was like, okay, really? why are we watching y'all? I said, why are we on a boat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, why? Like, where are you going? But, like, out of that, you know, what were some of the good situations <laughs> that we didn't get to see? Man. Like, as far as the house goes, and you guys all being, right. you know, um, We got to check out uh, Pier 39. We got to go on, like, this rocket boat. We got to go, like, a day where we, um, what else did we do? We went, um... Vogue dancing, if you know what that is. I we did a dance that class. Oh, that's why he does Tom does the, the Vogue. Yeah. That's, we went to a Vogue class. That was fun. We why went like roller show? skating one night. We went to a trampoline house. We went what? across the bridge. We walked the Golden Gate Bridge. We got to check out Alcatraz. Um, did they film it all? Do, yeah. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part? Favorite part favorite of the show? Favorite day. What was your favorite, favorite day? Favorite day. Um, that's tough. Man. Sexy that was like supper. Six months ago. <laughs> that was a good day, though. Yeah. <laughs> that no, was cool favorite too. day. Um, that's tough, man. I w maybe say even the vineyard that you guys got to see. Like, that, that was, was fun. cool to do. Like, I, I would never do that. You know, like yeah. unless yeah. I was on a show like this. So, talking about that though, yeah. Tom being there, I yeah, mean, yeah, me and Tom were a little. Were yeah, talk to, <laughs> what was the deal with that? You yeah. were like, you finally looked at him and you were like, shut up, like, yeah, I mean, no more. Right, and he, he seemed to listen just, to you. He's like, okay, Papa Bear. Like, it was just that friendship. It's just like, okay, bro, if I'm telling you you're yeah. cussing too to much, down. then calm down. And he knew. He was like, okay, if Corey's saying it, then I must be. He's bad, like, I'll fuck you know? it yeah. all right. So <laughs> it was just. We just had a good time. Like, we try to enjoy ourselves because there was so much drama in that house. The times that we did enjoy ourselves, you guys didn't really get to see, which is... Yeah. It's kind of upsetting, but, you know, it's a the TV show. They got to do it. They got to do it. And at least you have those experiences, though. Right. You know? I'm curious... <laughs> I'm also curious about how little we saw of... Ariel and Ashley, yeah. is there anything you can tell us about it's them about or what Ashley. they did that we didn't see? I, I mean, mean, was there ever drama between the two of them or just not? No. <laughs> no. Nothing. Um, and I mean, still to be together? honest, like, they would just cook dinner together, stay back, not go out, just hang out, you know? And, and that was them. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. And, and it got to it the point like where, like, made... we really started to miss Ariel because she would hang out with Ashley so much. I yeah. can stay that. home yeah. and we're that's like, come on, girl, like, come on, you're a good time. Like, we want you to enjoy this come with out. us. Right. And so that's why you guys don't really get to see Ariel lies because she was just, you know, she was happy in her relationship, and that's not what makes TV. No, you can't blame her. <laughs> you're not going to see two people, you know, yeah. Yeah. fast clips. It sucks because right. you can't blame her for that. You want her to be happy, but you went on the show for a different reason, and that reason right. was to have different experiences. And, right. and going back to the person that you're dating 
is not really a different experience. They, and not TV at all. brought them back. So. Yeah. Yep. Uh, as far as Ari, she was kind of at the end, the one to go in to talk with Brian. Mm -hmm. What was the, why? What, I mean, I, I've noticed this throughout the season. Right. Her, she always. always is having these little side Peace conversations. Peacemaker Ari. Yeah. What yeah, man, was that's just their her, like, relationship? If if you ever get to meet her, you'll see like that instant energy. It's just like. That calm, like, let me talk to Ariel real quick. And you know, like, she's going to give you something you good, you know? Yeah. yeah. So she just, Positive she was able, energy. especially with Brian, like, they used to talk. I think what it was is Brian felt comfortable talking to Ariel. Like, I feel like he didn't have to act a certain way. He could just be him. He could be emotional or tell her however he felt. And she would just tell him, you know, some smart knowledge or try to spit to him yeah. some knowledge. So. I'm trying to think about the fact that you said everybody started going to couples therapy. I'm thinking about Ashley and Ariel going to couples therapy, the therapist being like, so tell me what's going on. They're like, she well, we're playing in the meadow. Night. and No, no right. they, I'm sure they have the situations. They no, I bet the therapist starts talking to them and Ariel steps in and is like, how can I help you? <laughs> like, giving the therapist advice. That's no, literally how I see it. they had some issues about the, the way she dresses. Dress. Oh, yeah, there was that. They had some I mean, they were broken up before the show. Right. Yeah. So yeah. like they just started a date Again. on the show. And they're still together now? Oh. Yeah. Wow. So for our so. listeners he's saying yeah. I think so, yeah. Um from what I mean Instagram looks like it. Uh yeah. so Brian's the first one to leave. Yep. Um <laughs> no one <did> bye. <laughs> And then Jay and Jenna leave together. Wait, I feel like we didn't even talk about the entire Brian blow up. I mean, that was just insane. I just have to like. What else you want to talk about, I, I, girl? Just the fact he done that flipped out. I mean, we're talking about. I mean, he looked like a. Girl. He looked like about the damages, girl, yeah. like the damages he caused to the room. What did he do? I mean, he basically saw it. You know, he was swinging On bed to bed. bed. He was breaking the bed frame. He was kicking stuff. He he lost it, man. You know. He wow. fucking he, yeah, lost something, it. Yeah, he definitely it did, wasn't there. What, what did MTV do? Like, did he have to pay for anything? Because I oh, mean, yeah. you guys you, get you paid and you get docked you, for yeah. certain things. Yeah, I didn't if know you break that. something, you get paid for it. And then he had to stay at a hotel. Does he have to pay for that? No. Uh, no. 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 They the just want to. Okay. I don't think the hotel, but. Actually, you know, it's, uh, here we can talk about this part. After the van ride where you bugged out on Brian first. Yeah. The producers pulled <laughs> Brian aside. I did feel bad right. for him then. I did, right. I did. And, and you walking around talking. Right. Everyone hates Brian. Was it because then? you were an OG in the house? Like they figured, well, no, we'll keep the originals here. And, or it was just like you lucked the fuck know, out. To be honest, I guess they I just they wanted to be at the house and Brian at the hotel. Well, why would know. they put Brian with Tom and Jay? Tom and Jay wouldn't have like protect. You know, he was gonna go back and talk right, to Tom and Jay. That is true. Like, uh, why would they leave Brian in the I, car with everybody? I also want. Like, yeah, they didn't. They don't care. I also yeah. wanted to ask you about the fact. So when Brian finally does go barging out after all the the demons are possessing him or whatever's right, going on, right, right. were you scared that he was actually gonna hurt Jenny? Was that why no. you stopped him? I mean, he was like, I, he I mean, wasn't I gonna hurt him with because me in there. <laughs> I knew Brian didn't know what he was doing. So when someone right. doesn't know what they're doing, you don't know what they're capable of. Right. You know, so I was just because he was that drunk. He was that or drunk. That I mean, you can even see like he's slurring his words. He's yeah. stumbling. Right. He's like he holding crazy. on to somebody. You're just like this dude's lost it. You know. So I tried to calm the situation down and. Everyone thought it was like the big fight between me and Brian when I slammed him down, but I really was just trying to calm him down. Yeah, you know? yeah. a little aggression came out too. Of you know, just a little extra. Yeah, the way something. they did the editing, I was like, this yeah. is gonna be a big oh, fight. No. And I was like, no, oh. it was just you know he he like ran towards Jenny, and I was just like, whoop, nope, <laughs> you know, like whoop. nope, <laughs> yeah, um, him over. but yeah. Okay. You said you were sick of being nice <laughs> to everyone. Yeah. So other than Brian, was there something else in the house that was kind of? I mean, you felt no, like you just, had to put a, a civil mask on. When you live with it? this many people for so long, it gets to you. Like, I can't even live with somebody for, like, a month, <laughs> let alone, and then start to pick things about them that could drive you crazy. Mm. Or little pet peeves, you Good know. Good luck getting so, married. Yeah, I, okay. I don't plan on doing that anytime soon. But no, <laughs> you're still <dead. laughs> You know, no, but, um, yeah, it was just like, I just... I started to become more of the peacemaker you guys don't really see because there was all these relationships and Corey was just on his own for about like three weeks, you know, after Haley left. So it was really just like I was kind of keeping to my own, helping Jay and Jenna out, you know, just kind of just, and I just lost it, yo. Yeah. Just too many emotions held back and whatnot. Well, and you guys did go through a lot of emotions. Yeah, that's for that sure. was the theme of the show. Roll <laughs> All right, what were some of your pet peeves in the house? Pet peeves? Without, without naming any names. 
unless you want to name it. <laughs> we you know we love when you name names. Right. Right. But just tell us some things that some people would do. I mean, it's just living right. with roommates. You know, what were yeah. some things right. that you were like, I've never been in put in this type of a situation before, and she be clipping her nails oh. over here. Like, her what are some weed. some pet peeves everywhere. situations? We got um. Everybody knows they'll probably show it on the shit show too. Uh, Jenny used to leave a trail of mess throughout the house. Like you would be like, okay, Jenny was in the living room, then she ate some oh. cereal, then oh she came gosh, over she here. Messy. So like, yeah, you can find a trail of Jenny. Um, Ariel's hair always clogged up the sinks, <laughs> you know, and in the shower it would make a mess, you know. Um, Jay never liked when people's socks would mismatch. <laughs> That's what? just a weird Wait, random thing. He didn't Jay? like if other people's socks mismatched? Yeah, like he was really picky about his socks and always oh, had to have a toothpick. Jay, man. Well, Jay, you should make sure they're clean before you're clocking anyone else's okay. socks. Yeah. And um, <laughs> Tom always would just wear the, like, biggest middle school, like, I know this sounds funny, but, like, boxers. Like, he would have, like, banana <laughs> boxers, pink I boxers, see. like stars on his boxers flowers like just like dude come on are you a stripper on the low like is magic mike what you're trying to do like i love it but um let's see what else but um yeah basically did you do anything what's one of your people? bad habits yeah. um one of my bad other habits, than having sex in the shower in the communal shower I, I would steal yeah. people's food uh, i would get hungry at night <laughs> i would come home after like the I'm club and just be like Yo, wake up the next day, bro. I had two bagels, bro. Don't be mad at me. You know, Everyone's like, watching now being like, that's the fucker. Yeah. My stuff. Yeah, I knew I had Greek eggs yeah. in my Subway sandwich. A piece of bread would be missing, and they would know who to come to. A little bit of milk would be gone. Up. Did you get sick of Subway? Uh, yeah, that's basically why. I mean, I literally had Subway 12 weeks straight. Damn. Damn. I mean, it was free, so shoot. Okay. You know, right, like, right, don't right. play. You know? I'll be there. Right. <laughs> The dude you love is a bitch. <laughs> Stop Woo! saying strong words. Stop trying to use big words that you don't understand. I do feel yeah. that you're stupid. <laughs> Yeah. No, because some people be like saying big words to me, and I'm just like, you already know, like I'm not gonna understand what you're saying. I like, mean, on the show, it comes off kind of like <laughs> oh he God. doesn't look that bad, you know, using those words and whatnot. But like, I don't know, man. When you're 24 seven and it's nonstop, and you hear certain things that you know don't make sense, like <laughs> even Jenny said, like he'll run you in circles, you know, but continue to go. So, but you know, he's always like. Making a point though, it's weird. Yeah, no, like, it's, yeah, it it's makes, definitely. You know, it makes he speaks some type in of poetry. Point. Yeah, like he, that's how right? he speaks. He, but but there's a difference. Poetry. There's a difference speaking using big words and using big words correctly. So I feel like. Um, sometimes he was about fifty percent. Yeah, and so sometimes, sometimes he'll be like, okay. That makes sense, bro. Yeah. And and you know, sometimes, and then sometimes it's like, it's like hey, bro. But then again, at least he's using big vocabulary words. I mean, him and Jenny are perfect for each other. Perfect. And then the oh only other comment I gotta Girl. say, yeah. And then and then it's done, and you have been baptized and cleansed of the afterbuzz. <laughs> right. uh, but I must say, one thing that irritated me last week is because you got so upset when Ashley talked about your parents and how she could own oh, yeah. you and her parents could buy you. Uh, yeah. And then last week, Tom, I forget the exact quote that Tom was saying to Brian. Oh, no, I talked to Tom about that. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Okay, because for I me, did. that wouldn't bother me because you usually said, the you know, peacemaker. Tom said, don't be pissed that my parents did better than your parents. Yeah. I didn't hear that. Yeah, he said, don't be mad my parents did better yeah, than Yeah, I told him, that's kind of when I stepped in and was like, bro, chill out. And then I talked to him, I was like, you can't, you know, blame him for his situation, mm -hmm. you know. Just be blessed, be happy that you were blessed. You know, don't don't knock somebody else away. And I low. talked to him about that. Yeah, and he, yeah. he even said, like, he apologized to Brian and whatnot. So okay. That's good. everybody has said something or sure, done something right. this season that we're like, Why do we, we look that? back at it and we're like, damn, you know, that wasn't right in that situation. Uh -huh. That's just how you learn. Yeah. yeah. All right. So now moving forward, you've been, you've been on the real world. You've gone through the yes. whole process now. Woo. You've watched yourself back. Uh, You're yeah. now in internally thinking about what am I going to do with Corey Wharton? What is yeah. going to happen with Corey? Um, from basically, here? I have a brand coming out. You okay. know, it's called Young But Ready. It's really going to be maintained or it's going to be focused towards fitness. Mm -hmm. um, I talked about that last time I was mm -hmm. on here. Things are, the legal stuff is actually finally coming in play and whatnot. And um, yeah, it's going to start off fitness and then go towards clothing. We're going to have like little tank tops. Stuff like that, okay. you know. I'm trying to do something with yeah. it. Yeah. Where can we get it? I have to. Where can it's we get it? It's gonna be on my website, okay. which is yeah, which is CoreyWharton.com. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yep, yep. I gotta get the WordPress figured out and whatnot. Okay. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm You're doing it, it though. Together. Yeah. That's I'm getting good. it all together. It's gonna be nice. Um, I'm already starting to train a couple of clients, so that's gonna be cool. Um, one of my clients, she's doing a boxing chess match. 
She actually got to fight Kim Kardashian in 2006. Oh, oh I remember that. Yeah, oh. she's the one that beat okay. up Kim K. And so we're, we're training at Fortune Gym in Hollywood. So that's, I'm Where training her right now. In um, Hollywood. It's in West Hollywood. <laughs> Where? Um, <laughs> what are the streets? Uh, everyone's going to come stop oh, well, now. Gonna, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can just put it up on your damn website. Yeah. Right. Now, <laughs> Uh, as far as fitness moving mm -hmm. forward, you know, is this something that, you know, the real world has kind of put into your head? Like, wow, now I have this platform. Is that something that you've always kind of wanted to do? I kind of, I went into the real world kind of with an empty plate. I don't know if that's the best way to go. Mm, no, no. I You know, to saying. be honest, I was just like, I was young. I was fresh out in L.A. You were young, I got ready. to go, you know, <laughs> trying to, but um, I was just young, ready. I was like, okay, well, look, TV show, let's do it. Go there, fresh plate. Trying uh -huh. to set myself up for certain things, and uh, it didn't go how I wanted it to go, but it is what it is, you know? And mm -hmm. so um, you definitely learn about a lot about yourself, but I feel like I also will be... I set myself up well for the challenges, like you said. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, good. Yeah. And you're excited to do the challenges? You yeah, totally I'm definitely excited. That, that's, that's more my cup fun. of tea. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not really the relationship, you know. <laughs> I'm getting judged on how I deal with relationships, and I'm the last person that should be, you know. Right. You but uh, when we're something. talking, like, challenges and, like, athletic stuff, come on, I'm a trainer. That's right up my alley, you know. So hopefully in June, um, you know, they – we can get some going. So. so actually, that's a great point that you made. Yeah. Let's talk about your relationship status. Oh, yeah. Uh, you said, uh, I don't want to be put in a relationship. I want the next relationship I want to be in. I want it to be healthy. True. Yeah. So uh, Surprise, true. <laughs> how, how's, true. how's that going for you? How's that going to go for you? Do you just need time for yourself now? Is that's that? It's you know? basically, I mean, I just, I would get too attached too fast. Like that was my problem. I found out too, when I would start a relationship, you know, I would just, put too many emotions into it too fast kind of like just slow myself down a little bit focus on me right now and then um and get yourself and then ready. go with that yeah mm -hmm. i mean take so it kind of that's easy. where the whole Enjoy relationship life. thing is going just single kind of focus on me not really looking you anywhere mingling else a little, you just, you know? you mingling? a little bit okay oh, oh, you can find, oh, oh, you can find him on oh. he's on tinder no oh no tinder for <laughs> me kidding. i can't do that but All instagram right. and twitter hey 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 <laughs> we are not using Instagram for a love match. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, you can. Shoot, you can don't DM. play. I'm the, just the kidding. DMs. You can do uh, I'm sure the fuck can. No, right. I feel you. I All right. Yeah. So, <laughs> the reunion's next week. Yeah. What, Show me later. What are we here at AfterBuzz going to be real excited to see? The reunion? Who, um, who's going to who's gonna be our MVP for the reunion? Oh, yeah. Who's going to deliver MVP? the most juice? Juice. Juice. Um, maybe... Jenny, of course. Jenny and Brian, mm. surprise, surprise, mm. you know Shocker. what I'm saying? Like, they want but, a show. Um, or they like, want a show. Oh, yeah. yeah Jenny I said mean, that she's pushing for a show. They're thirsty. I mean, she's asking like 40000 to get her own show. Oh. MTV cut that out. But um, <laughs> yeah, so at the reunion, it was like Tom and Haley. They kind of got into it, too. Um, What's your yeah. stance on Haley? She's cool. She's, she's cool. cool. She just, man, she was in Did you feel like Tom situation. was being mean to her? Did you ever check Tom? Or did I mean, you feel I just like told Haley Tom's Green's head was going through it too. Like they yeah. were both going through it. Like it was hard. It was hard for me to like pick one side. Like I would try not to pick right. a side like the best I could, you know. But um I feel for Haley, you know, she had one bad night. Other than that, like she was fine. Like yeah. she really she she did really well in the house. Like just kind of stuck to her own. Tried to not cause any problems, but that one night made a whole episode. <laughs> so, you know, it And then she left. left. And then she Dang. left. So, yeah. What y'all excited to see? Yeah. Um, I wanted to see some fights on the reunion show. I don't know. Like, I'm kind of just. Fight? I'm just Brian interested in like who's together, who's not together. What's the real team? Do That's we get I'm everyone back? Saying. Even okay. Yeah. Yeah, even, even Ashley, Ashley, who says she fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wanna. Yeah. I wanna see some Jamie Haley yeah. stuff then. Jamie versus Haley. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just. That's always fun. Yeah. Something there. I don't know. The whole situation bothered me again with the cheap please. I'm excited I just need to see somebody to sit Jamie down and be like. But she called Bitch, herself please. out. She, she did. She did. She did call herself out. Which just, uh, being self-aware is the most important thing. So at least she got that. I think some like. people at the reunion finally got some stuff off of their chest. Okay. Well, that's well, good. It was about time some people spoke up and told how they really felt. You know. So. Okay. Well, I hope Jenna, you are one of them. On that yeah. note, we want to thank y'all for tuning in. Corey, again, where can all your fans uh, find you? 
uh, MTV, Corey Warren, same thing, Twitter, Facebook, um, and CoreyWarren.com, man. Mess Hashtag. with me, man. Young but ready. Yay. Let's go. You guys can hit me up at DJ Jesse J. Me at Sensei Don't Play. Dre Renee underscore N. At Roxy Stryer. Also, make sure you guys hit us up at AfterBuzz TV on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Until next week. Peace. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Bye. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later. <laughs>